Okay. Good old Konica Minolta. Bizob C227. Okay. This one should be an easy one again, an A4. I don't know how the colour is going to turn out. However, it's a matte finish or semi, almost a, looks like a semi matte or <laughs> it's close to matte. No, we don't need that. I just said that. No, we don't need enlargement or reduction for this one. So this one's going to be an A4 from what I can tell. <sighs> Sometimes even when I think I'm spot on, I'll fucking get it wrong anyway. <laughs> it's funny shit doing this copy of configuration art as I've called it. it used to be called copy art, photocopier art, copier art, whatever. But I, I like the words copy of configuration art. It's a more modern term in my opinion. Uh, it sort of captures the spirit of what I'm doing because I'm configuring. This is all configuring a copier. This is heavy configuring of a copier and I call it copy of configuration art. Uh, but still, the old the old style copy art is still pretty cool stuff. It's nice to see some old fashioned uh, photocopy art every now and then if you can find this, if you can find it. <laughs> Not many people use these anymore because of the heavy. I guess the configuring makes it intimidating for a lot of the artists. Some of the artists have complained, uh, or at least one person has complained that the technology was is just too. It's just too refined, but there's not enough. There's not enough errors, room for errors, and wonderful things that that look like that start off as mistakes and then become really nice, spontaneous works of art. And you wonder where it comes from, but it seems as if people have been alienated by this technology. I mean, look, you have to. In the old days, it was. I, I guess you had to select paper trays in the old days, but one of the things features I found on there is this feature. This feature, I think, gets a lot of people stumped in a lot of... I could be wrong. I still don't know. Sometimes when I forget to set this, it still works. But I always like to set it. And some machines are intolerant of having a, both a paper tray unselected and an original size, which is what this is, uh, unselected. It spits the dummy and it doesn't make a photocopy. It just brings up an annoying error message that tells you what to do. But a lot of people don't look at the, the touch panel and see what the machine is basically instructing them to do. It, <laughs> why would they, you know? I mean, a lot of photocopier art was, as I said, it's a spontaneous thing, and I think a lot of this technology for a lot of uh, photocopier artists of the old days has just made it too alienating and it's taken away. They believe it's taken away the spontaneity of their art. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately for me, I've been able to adapt and I've been able to discover new techniques and new features that can be used, like this Konica Minolta shit, you know? So basically, for me, I've found the technology has been beneficial overall, even though it's still, it could always be improved and you can still feel like they're spending too much money on shit. They're not doing the right thing. Uh, they don't make any new features, but these features are often new, considered new to other artists because they simply haven't had the time or, or maybe they are just not got the aptitude to adapt to this high-tech shit. But, you know, it's, got, it's like a double-edged sword, you could say. But anyway, that's my two cents.